Here's Evans. It's going to be one. Will it be two? It won't be because... Oh, it's oh wow! He grabbed it. And man, man, oh man! Heart-stopping stuff, I tell you. But what a victory for Zimbabwe. They were gone, probably dead and half buried at the halfway stage with just 130 on the board. But somehow, somehow with those tall bowlers, with the bounce here at Perth, with Raza in the middle with three, they've fought and fought and finally managed to get home. What a win by just one run. They pulled it out of the fire, have Zimbabwe. Halfway stage, not many were giving them the chance, but it's been absolutely superb. And this World Cup has just kept on giving and giving. Zimbabwe win by one run. What a game of cricket we've had. Man, oh man. Who would have thunk it? Craig Irvine and your men take a bow. That is some effort. Defend 130 on Australian pitches. Good to bat. And this one was good for batting. It certainly looked that way. It started that way. And the batters had a decent time out there. Except they couldn't chase it down. It seemed both sides just couldn't deal with the skills of the bowlers. Bounce in it. Pace in it. And it's what wins tonight. Yeah, bounce and pace. But don't forget, it was Sikanda Raza who tamed, turned the game around with a, the spell where he took three wickets and also those back-to-back -back wickets. In a situation where Pakistan looked comfortable, the wicket of Shadab. And then the rest in Pakistan, well... This is a massive loss for Pakistan. And Shan Masood with 44 held the innings together. It looked as if he would drive Pakistan home. The partnership with Shadab was the crucial one. But in the end, even with Nawaz's 22, they couldn't chase it down. Here's a look at the bowling. Garava was very good. None for 24. Zarabani was good too. Just look at the column where it says dots. That's where you'll see they created pressure. The wickets were taken by Mzarabani and Raza, as well as Jongwe, who got one in the only over he, he bowled. And Raza, three for 25, turned the game, as you heard from Bazid Khan. And once it was turned, there was still the job of winning it at the back end. Evans, with the last over, defended 11.